attack on Tulsi's campaign come at a constant barrage, right? People still claim that she's homophobic despite two apologies and her legislative records to fight for LGBTQ rights. They have also attacked her for having connection to the Indian populist prime minister, Narendra Modi. There are uh, things that hap are happening within the Indian government um, that, that I disagree with. I don't pretend to, to support or approve of or endorse all the practices of, of the ruling party uh, in India. Uh, I, as we look at different governments around the world, again, I think my approach is looking at serving what is in the best interest of the American people, being willing to sit with others, whether they be friends or adversaries or potential adversaries, always keeping at the forefront who I work for and who I serve. Right. So now, I think Modi is a complex character, and I've addressed that in a prior podcast and video, but she's also been very critical of the religious violence that has been a long-standing problem in India. I don't, I don't dispute that these things are occurring, and I've been very consistent over the years in calling out uh, this kind of religious uh, persecution and bigotry based on religion wherever it may take place. I think that's important for all of us uh, to do, whether it's happening here in the United States or it's happening in other parts of the world. And Tulsi points out that she met with Modi to have constructive relations with India. And this is what good relationships are supposed to be, constructive. Look, she has called out religious persecution and doesn't agree with everything with the ruling party of India. And the BJP has made some very terrible mistakes, amongst them saying nothing about the cow vigilantes attacking Muslims. That's right. India has cow vigilantes, a bovine Justice League, if you will, who kind of act like the Legion of Doom. Well, for, for Muslims, anyway. And yet, yet, we see McDonald's and Burger King's opening up new franchises in that country every day. Okay, these vigilantes seem a little misdirected in their crusade. Th this, is, this is just one of the negative attributes about the ruling party in India. Tulsi was also chastised for not voting for American intervention of Muslim violence in India back in 2002. Now, this does make sense because one of Tulsi's core principles is against American interventionism. And look, America should not be dictating the laws of another country, but you can make friendly suggestions, right? As of now, American interventionism, trying to control the laws of another country, is basically legislative rape.